John Tesla here with GeekyCool.com, and I'm here at Nightmare Weekend with Lance Guest. Hello. What made you want to become an actor? Uh, probably comedy. Probably listening to comedians. I used to have comedy records when I was a kid, and I would memorize the whole records and you know do all their routines when I was quite young. Um, and then I could do it in like junior high school, you know, I just, we do comedies and I just do my thing and I could do it, so I was kind of a ham. Out of all the movies you've worked on, what's your favorite set? My favorite set? Yeah. A movie called The Wizard of Loneliness, which we shot in Bristol, Vermont in 1987, which very few people saw, but it was this really beautiful town that we had to make it up like their 40s. And I got to ride this cool uh, Rudge Whitwick motorcycle from, like, 1938. And uh, they really did a great job. It's a low-budget movie, but they they made all the all the stuff was right, all the cars and all the, pl- all the props and everything. And it was all, like, vintage and all real, and I just liked it. Now, your first big movie, of course, was The Last Starfighter. Right. What... Was, what's your feeling about the fact of how much of a cult status that movie has? Uh, I uh, I am quite surprised, although the script supervisor, a woman by the name of Faye Brenner, said to me, I think this movie's a pot boiler. And I said, what's a pot boiler? She says, it's something that it doesn't, it doesn't hit big when it starts, but it will, it'll gather momentum over time. And she was very prescient, and I don't know how she knew that. Because nobody else said that. Okay, you've, you've also done Halloween and Jaws the Revenge. Jaws the Revenge, yes. What was it like going from doing The Last Starfighter, a sci-fi slash fantasy type setting, into doing into doing horror type movies? Well, I did I did Halloween two before I did Last Starfighter. Okay. So that was 1981, uh, and Last Starfighter was 1984. So uh, it was many, many years before. <laughs> that was the first. Halloween Two was the first movie I, I shot professionally. Um, so I mean, it's just a movie, you know. It's horror or or not. It's it's not a different kind of acting. It's still the same thing. Do you have any projects upcoming? Kind of. Kathy and I are are talking to some writers about something. We might be doing something. Like that. That would be nice to see you two together again. Yeah. Do you have any advice for people starting out in the business? Be sure that that's what you want to do. And, uh, you know, make sure that you would do it no matter what. Whether you got paid or not. Do plays. Take acting class. Be real. Don't be in love with uh, the uh, sort of so-called glamour of it all. Be, really enjoy what it is. Enjoy the actual process because it is a real, it is a real experience. Do you have social media where people can look you up? Not really. My Facebook is like all the people I knew from high school and college. Anything else you want to say, say to the fans? Um, you know, uh, stay true to your to your, to your to your beliefs, to what you like. Make sure you like something. If, if, if you uh, do you like a particular movie and everybody's like, nah, nah, that sucks. If you really like it, stick to your guns. Thank you very much, Lance, for spending a few minutes with geekycool.com. All right.